The company, Aquamazing, manufactures a roughly rectangular novelty item with an intricate brown pattern. How could it potentially answer a question that has been bugging audiences for over 25 years? The company, Aqua Amazing, I hope I'm saying that right, but Aqua, yeah, think of Aqua and Amazing, uh, manufactures a roughly rectangular novelty item with an intricate brown pattern. How could it potentially answer a question that's been bugging audiences for over 25 years? I just realised that 25 years ago is nearly like the year 2000. Not quite, mm. but I, I didn't like doing that maths and figuring out that 25 <laughs> years ago nearly starts with a two. Didn't Anyone like that feeling that. old? Yeah. 25 years ago is like the 80s, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Please. Aquamazing. This isn't strictly relevant, but it's just stuck in my head on like portmanteau words like that, that uh, in Canada, all the packaging on the side of products has to be in both English and French. And cheese-tastic got translated to French as fromidable, which is <laughs> beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. Like, someone made a translation that's a portmanteau that's better than the original. That's so rare. And, and as a portmanteau goes, aquamazing is not that aquamazing. No. <laughs> which is a shame because in French, amazing would be brilliant. Oh. <laughs> So it feels like water is somehow involved. Aqua feels like, or unless it's someone who's a big fan of the colour blue. Roughly rectangular, brown with a pattern on it. The first thing I thought of was chocolate, which has nothing <laughs> to do with water. I was like, novel, novelty item, chocolate's pretty novelty. Um, brown pattern, I'm thinking like, you know, dairy milk. Yeah. Um, but um, and the, but the only the only like problem or like thing that was it's kind of frustrated people that I think of chocolate is the what the thing where you like cut it and remove a piece, but then you can put it perfectly back together. Yes. Um, but that's a very niche thing to develop a product for. Someone's been practising. <laughs> I was thinking bath bombs for some reason. Like Ooh, those things made of citric acid and, and whatever, bicarbonate of soda, I think you drop in a bath and put fizz and colours and things. I was thinking roughly rectangular brown and aqua, like something you drop in a bath. I don't want a brown bath bomb. <laughs> I realised the minute I opened my mouth for that, that actually brown is not a colour no, I want with that. No! <laughs> <sighs> oh, dear. Maybe Aquamazing, like, have branched out. They started off doing water-based um, solutions, and now they're, you know, they're kind of, They've kind of cast the net wider. Maybe it's, we're being I can confirm by the name. it's no, it's a water. It is a water-based thing. It, it the aqua amazing okay. leads you on the right track. It's not trying to trick you. Okay, because you know, like Apple don't sell apples. <laughs> okay, some kind of like pool equipment, a uh, floaty thing, something that goes in goes in a swimming pool. But again, like roughly rectangular and brown. And also, that's been bugging audiences while we're in a theatre Oh, yeah, setting. audiences. Mm. What? <laughs> this is what I do on this show. I just say what. And eventually <laughs> the clues you give to me finally give me the answer. But at the moment, I'm fully in what territory. Would you, would you like a clue? No? no, no, no. We will get this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, we won't. I'll, I'll happily <laughs> take the hint, Dan. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I'm trying to think of... Because I, I feel like some of these clues, you'll just get it. So uh, one of its four sides... It, four sides is jagged and irre irregular. Huh. Mm, so, because I was thinking rectangular, are we dealing with like something like a, a like a note? Like a like a £20 note? Or oh, you're like right. I will get that immediately off that clue. Oh. Oh. This is a company that sells pool floats in a very specific shape, isn't it? And it's a shape that we've all seen somewhere. It's a very specific shape. It is, oh. yes. And it answers people's questions yep. that they've had for a long time. Yeah, I'll, I'll let others put it together if you haven't. Well, I don't know what the questions it answers is, but I think I know what shape it must now be. I, no, I don't know. I've got an idea. I can give you another clue that will probably help you in the right direction. Well, here, here's what I'm possibly thinking in terms of shape. Is it in the shape of a of a, a shark fin? Oh, wrong movie. Definitely the wrong uh, movie. Okay. Because I had the jagged edge. I was wondering if that was like the teeth. It, it, like, No, a fin does not have teeth. Hang on. No. I'm getting my shark anatomy mixed up here. 
I never want to see any part of a shark. You're looking for something flat and brown that maybe looks a little bit wooden. Is it? Um, is this to do with Titanic? Yes, it is. It's got to yes, be it purely is. room. Yes, it is. <laughs> There was enough room. Is that where we're going? <laughs> yes, yeah. that is where we're going. That is exactly where we're going. So the answer is it was created to see if both Rose and Jack could fit on the Titanic door. So Can it's they? a novelty. Well, so this is it. Okay. Much debate has raged over whether Jack could have fit on the door while Rose um, floats. Because she's on it, isn't she? And he's in the water. Yeah, um, yeah. So much so that in 2023, director James Cameron recreated the scene with two actors in a pool. It seemed that they couldn't both fit on the door without it partially sinking into the frozen waters. And that is what Kate Winslet had previously said, that yes, he could have fitted on the door, but it would not have stayed afloat. So I don't know if this product actually solves that problem or not, because it's a very <laughs> floaty product. <laughs> but I feel like James Cameron should have put just... just um, a note in the movie. It's not like they could have that in dialogue, but like they should have tried it for a moment. They should have figured it out. Mm. If it was a YouTube video, there'd literally be text on the screen at that point, right? Because <laughs> yeah, you know, you know they're the comments you're going to get. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Little fact-checked movies in real time. <laughs> or you wouldn't because you'd know that's what the comments were going to be and it would create interaction. So, yep. you know, you could look at it both ways. Yeah. Uh, so Aqua Amazing manufactured a blow-up door to see if both Rose and Jack could fit on the Titanic door. 